Over the past few weeks, we've seen a lot in the way of incredible new Fallout 4 mod releases. Several new items that will just make it so your character looks or feels a bit better in the Commonwealth, but also a variety of other things that'll actually make it so other characters feel pretty special in the Commonwealth. And in this video, I'm going to have a particular segment focused on making other people in the Commonwealth feel a little bit more interesting. In this video, I'm going to be going over all of that and a little bit more, a look at some of the best new mods to come out for Fallout 4 over the past couple of weeks. And considering Steam is now hitting new player highs with so many people quarantined in their homes, it's a pretty good time to download some of these mods. I should have several videos actually focused around many of you that are probably looking for some new games to play, or in this particular instance, new mods to experience with those games. If you guys enjoy the content, you can leave a like or subscribe, but firstly, let's look at how we can make your character in Fallout 4 a little bit cooler or just more interesting overall. First and foremost, we have a new outfit mod from NewerMind43 that's simply titled Stalker. This is a very cool and actually very simple outfit, and as you can probably tell, very stalker inspired. This is pretty modular and broken up into several different pieces, so you could have it look exactly how you want or even mix and match some objects from this one with other armor mods out there. But to me, it's one of those outfits or armors that just fits in really well with the post-apocalyptic commonwealth we find with Fallout 4. It features a couple of different customization options or a spiked slash non-spiked version of the jacket. And although some of these can be a bit more on the dramatic side, I honestly think just the default base version or some of the similar styled camos are where this outfit looks the best. And on that note, I think it does look pretty good. It's one of those outfits that will just look really well in the experience throughout Fallout 4, whether that be on you or even some of your companions. But as I mentioned, that past one is pretty modular. You could just use some parts of it. So if you wanted to, let's say, use the tactical fast helmet, you could actually use this as a tandem mod with Stalker. The tactical fast helmet is going to be basically a tactical helmet for Fallout 4. Although this particular helmet stands out as, in my experience, this is probably the most highly customizable helmet that I've ever seen for Fallout 4. You have basically all the attachments you would want, working night vision, whether it be in the up or down position, counterweights on the back of the helmet, flashlights on the helmet, and for all of these, there is a ton in the way of customization and options. And this also features several different face masks, also with different skins, to kind of just add a little bit on on top of it. This helmet's pretty cool because you start with just a very normal military looking helmet, what you find most military members using right now, at least in the US. And through customization, you could really kit it out to be exactly what you want. Keep it very simple, just maybe give it a different color, or make it a fully loaded kit and there will be a lot going on. For that reason, it fits very naturally with several other military focused mods out there and if anything, I actually think is a great tandem piece to several of those mods, as this will probably feature more customization than most other helmet mods. But now that you have a cool new outfit ready to go, what you're also going to probably want is a new weapon. So for that, we do have the Fostech Origin 12. This is going to be a new shotgun in Fallout 4 and specifically a new combat shotgun, as the stats of this one will actually mirror the stats of the vanilla combat shotgun, although it obviously looks far cooler. And as you can probably tell from the background, also features way more in the way of customization. This is very much so kind of like a Sega 12-esque shotgun. It can be customized to be fully automatic, as well as have a nice large drum magazine. And there's also a variety of attachments you can bring with this to definitely give it that tactical feel and fit pretty well with some of the previous mods in this video. And frankly, from there, it's going to be fairly subjective. If you like the look and feel of this one, you'll probably enjoy it in Fallout 4. It's not doing anything crazy or super different as far as weapon mods go, but I think it's pretty appealing just based off the design alone. Which speaking of things that are appealing based off the design alone, we also have several mods that will change other NPCs in Fallout 4. And actually with this first one, I am giving a huge shout out to any mod authors out there to actually bring an update to this. So what I'm talking about is the highly underrated Gunner Outfit Pack, which just didn't get enough downloads. What this will do is add in a ton of awesome looking gunner outfits into Fallout 4. So many different ones that I literally can't show you all in this video, just because there are so many different combinations. There are 30 outfits as well as 23 hats, helmets, and three separate masks. Many of these do have intended uses. It'll be a helmet meant to go with the specific outfit, but for several others, you could definitely mix and match them and they'll look absolutely fine. 
And as you're seeing in the background, a lot of these look really cool. Many are repurposing vanilla assets, sometimes with retextures or other modifications, and some are definitely more custom, but I would say all of them fit in extremely well with the gunners and will make them a far more interesting faction. The one major problem is this actually isn't integrated into the level list of the gunners, at least yet. So partially, I wanted to show off this mod because A, it's cool, but B, I'm really hoping somebody can help out the mod author behind this one or just create a tandem mod to make it so this does flesh out the level list of the gunners, as I would argue it'll be a huge improvement. It'll definitely make those gunners look a lot more interesting outside of just the typical military fatigues and combat armor. So a really awesome mod, one that I think could be really taken to the next level with just a simple levelless integration, something the mod author has mentioned being open to but doesn't really know how to do himself. But in a very similar vein, we also do have the Institute Exosuit. This isn't quite as large, actually just adding in this one singular armor, and more or less what it was designed to be was a hybrid between a regular armor and a power armor, basically a heavy institute armor. This will be worn by institute operatives, a replacement for synth leaders, and I think it actually fits in very well with the theme and vibe of the institute. The design of this one's pretty cool, as you can actually see the under armor of this is actually some of the other institute or synth armors. And the overall idea or concept behind this one was that when a leader wanted to go out and actually supervise a mission or something that was happening in the field, they would probably want a substantial armor, something more than just the typical institute outfits. This would be that armor, reserved for some of the top tier brass, and I think it actually looks pretty cool especially if you're somebody to side with the Institute. And actually in a very similar vein coming from some of these same mod authors, we also have the Railroad Heavy Overhaul. The Railroad Heavy outfit actually isn't one of the worst in Fallout 4, but you're probably used to it. And this mod will add in a much better alternative to this, giving those Railroad Heavy agents a much more custom and interesting looking armor type that also just looks really well in Fallout 4 and fits the Railroad aesthetic. This dude was just one standalone armor it will pop up on Railroad Heavy Agents now. And with both of these past mods, I think they do a good job at making some of these familiar factions feel a little bit more special on subsequent playthroughs. And both of these are ones you can very easily install mid-playthrough, or even just use the armors for yourself if you're aligning with that faction. Although last but not least in this category, we have another very exciting and interesting one. That with the SMR Mutation Club standing for the Super Mutant Redux Mutation Club. So at this point in time, this mod is actually very simple. What it's going to do is add in several pretty good looking reskins or retextures of Strong. That of course being the Super Mutant Companion you could get right now in Fallout 4. There are three options to choose from, each of which having its own unique design, and I think actually being pretty cool, they all are three distinctive options some of which actually being lore friendly based off certain vault experiments or where the FEV virus originated. But one of the reasons to get more excited for this just overall is this is actually from the original mod author of Super Mutant Redux, which if you've never heard of that mod, it's basically the definitive Super Mutant overhaul mod, adding in a lot as far as weapons, armors, new mutant types. And he's basically using this mod page to ship different smaller bite-sized mods, as he describes them, that will act as a larger future update to Super Mutant Redux. On the mod page, he has details for several of his plans that should be on the way, with the next update actually containing a vault pack, which would be a bunch of content around a vault life that the Super Mutants would have seen within Vault 87. So overall, it's definitely something to track on Nexus and keep an eye on. But then switching over to a bit of a different theme, we also have gotten several interesting workshop mods over the past couple of weeks. One of which that is actually very simple but extremely handy is Mobile Workshop by SKK. What this will do is add in a new aid item that simply allows you to place down a mobile workshop wherever you are and in turn just build a settlement literally anywhere. And then very simply using that same item, you can collect all of those items, have whatever you place down stored and move somewhere else. There are other mods that do a similar thing, but I don't think there's been one that's quite as seamless or just easy to use as this one. And it works perfectly. There's a lot of cool places in Fallout 4 that would make a great little camp or even sprawling city. And this mod will give you the functionality to create either whenever or wherever you want. A great tandem mod for this is CVC Dead Wasteland. This mod page is actually very scarce, it doesn't share many details about what this does, but basically it's a giant workshop pack, adding in a ton of new things that you could place down in Fallout 4's settlement mode. 
Many of these are actually prefabs, entire guard posts, entire houses, or a wide variety of just structures you might find around Fallout 4 by default, but technically couldn't place in workshop mode previously. It includes several pieces that you could build into larger structures, but being very modular, so you can make a big bunker or a little bunker. And if you are somebody who spends a lot of time building, this is definitely a good one. It has a nice variety of different items or objects that fit in well with Fallout 4's world, and many which actually already appear in the world. But now will pop up as very nice things you could place down at your settlement. And actually a ton of guard posts, that's another category this really fleshes out. And it's one of those mods that fits in pretty well with something like Sim Settlements as you could use some of those interior plots on several of these houses. Which speaking of Sim Settlements, we also just saw the release of the Sim Settlements Mega Pack Year 3. This is the third of these, but if you're not familiar with what these are, it's basically just a collection of settlement plans. That being what actually is used to populate plots in Sim Settlements. This year 3 pack contains 120 plans, so with just this one simple download you could make your sim settlements look significantly more custom. This one in particular actually has a lot of very unique or different content. Many of these have already been released in the past, so if you downloaded the individual mods it may look familiar, but if you're just a casual user of sim settlements, downloading the core mods as well as these mega packs is a great way to make them feel a little bit more custom or just some of the plots look more interesting. And again, with this one, there is a lot of uniqueness. It's definitely one of the standout ones, at least to me. But overall, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully I inspired you to download at least one of these mods, or even just Fallout 4 in general. There's still a lot of great content coming out for this game, and a lot of stuff to get very excited about. But as always, again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. But with that, I hope to see you all next time. Later.